It's been about a week, actually. Well, two, actually. I decided to take a hiatus. I've been busy on the on the real-life job and also the Genshin live stream as well. <laughs> oh, look, okay, I gotta say. Welcome back to the Gran Turismo 7, and we gotta do a... I gotta say that uh, this thing is a lot. Well, actually. Two legendary early, early 90s, late 80s, early 90s straight six car. The reason why I gotta do for this thing, I have no idea, but actually I, I have a ring about it. If you remember the, my mid 90s his straight six power machine, you know the guess. You guessed it, right? <laughs> okay, that, let's put it in an earlier perspective, actually, to be honest. I, I wanna do this one, actually. Now, to pre perspective, actually, I wanna do this one. From quite a bit, well, a little bit actually. So I want to talk about the the car. You mean not? Uh, you, you talk about it already, right? <laughs> you know the, you know this video already. Welcome to Gran Turismo 7, and today we're gonna talk about how a two cars, which is I actually I want to do it for a long time. Actually, to be honest, I want to do it for a long time, but I literally forgot uh, uh, I have these car in this game. Hey, actually, I secretly actually one of them is two of them actually well one of them is a greatest American sports car which is American I gotta say American muscle oh that's to say the American muscle car with and also the iconic movie car as well and second which is a from Italy it's a Italian stallion so mostly I gotta do this game which is a, I in mostly in the garage actually in this game and as you probably know so the one of most iconic brand and also the most iconic brand and also the this brand pretty much has disappeared for for 10 over 10 years now actually he one of them is a one of the greatest american muscle car of all time yeah i most people can think wait you have gto the judge yeah i already have the gto the judge but actually i already have that car and also the one the greatest car of all time I'm talking about this particular car as well. This is the one the iconic car of the Pontiac Trans M, the one of the greatest car of all time, and today is the most collectible car. Well, and thinking. It's color of all it. It's of all time, it, and it's the most looking. The Trans Am is one of my, hey, one of the greatest generation American sports car. American sports car. American car. It's the most most collectible these days. Is pretty much as people loved it. And it's the one of the greatest car of all time. And oh yeah, it's a me yeah, I be believe people got to think in which is the American car most of it, which is a uh, hundred miles an hour, and also the pretty much has uh, underpower as well. <laughs> because in the seventy, this is a seventy eight, a uh, nineteen seventy eight, a hey, hey, muscle car. Under the bonnet of this car is a pretty much um, amazing. Well, honestly, I gotta say. It about it. It's a 6.6 .6 liter normally aspirated V8. It's 220 horsepower. That time, time which is a fuel crisis as well. 1970 and in the uh, 70s it is a oil crisis as probably no. 220 horsepower, 435 newton meters of torque or as well and also 1640 kilograms. People loved it because this car it was the most iconic car of all time. I gotta double check what, what movie it is. The one of the iconic movie of on the uh, this car, which is I've searched it actually using in Google on my phone. Oh, actually, it's Smoke and the Bandit, which is a debut in 19 in the 77 actually. Is that 1977 in Trans Am? This is a 1978 model, as you probably know. And this particular car is the most iconic name of all time. Firebird, the most iconic name of all, including the GTO. I I love I personally love GTO. Oh, actually, the, the GTO 6 liter V8 as well. This particular car is the one of the best looking. Hey, I gotta say, even though I bought the the iconic color of all time, and as well, as you're probably thinking, how long you buy one of these things? I bought these things for for seven months. I bought it this one seven months ago. 
to say I bought this thing 110 grand with this, this color actually I bought this game this card before I said it this in the past update I bought uh, this card <laughs> yeah yeah if you want to uh, if you want to prove I gotta uh, put it now And some people might thinking, what color you bought? Hold on for the, hey, another car you bought. And actually, and I thinking people got think, was it Ferrari? Yes, it is, it is Ferrari. Actually, I bought it a Ferrari. This is the iconic Ferrari of all time. Before the V8 era uh, came out in the, the 70s, which is this particular one is the early 70s. Ferrari 246 GT. Wait, actually, I gotta say Ferrari Dino 246 GT. The one of the iconic car of all time, and also the one of the best looking in super car. I said super car. It's a sport. One of the greatest sports car of all time, and it also very quite amazing. Well, I said it's very quite amazing. It's amazing to look look as well. It's, I admire you about this car. Uh, if you want to know, if you remember, if you watch the uh, old. Detective Conan anime, you may notice this car, the Ferrari two four, the Ferrari Dino two four six GT, the, the Ferrari Dino. I, if I correct me if I'm wrong, man, I, I love, I personally love, personally, but older Ferraris is one of the coolest car of all time as well. So if you're thinking, what's the two four six stands for? Well, it is a, which is a displacement and also the engines, the engine of this car. It's a two point four liter. The V6 engine, which is a normally aspirated, and normally aspirated that, and uh, pretty much amazing in sounding. It's a a 65 degree P V6 engine, uh, as you probably know. It's 191 horsepower and also 224 newton meters of torque. Weighs about how 1,080 kilograms. And secondly, this particular car, one of the greatest car of all time, one of the iconic as well. And people got in thinking, wait, do you have one of these things? Yes, I bought one of these. It's set a quiet already. Early. This color is, a, is blue. I bought this one in red actually. So as you probably know the Dino 246 remain Dino 246 GT remain the most famous creation from the greatest great Italian car maker. The com this compact two seater was in equipped with I said this compact two seater was equipped with mid mounted V6 his engine. Well V6 engine is I I haven't heard her officiality reference to as the piccolo, which is mean little one in Italian. If you if you are a fan of Dragon Ball, what did that means piccolo was in Italian they called it a little one. Actually, piccolo. Don't don't ask me why. Don't ask me why. If you were fan, if you reading you know, read manga and also watch ball, you know you got. Uh, you got it. And this one is pretty much hard to say. <laughs> the lovely line of the car was penned by Pininfarina, the one of the greatest his design company as well. They designed the Enzo, the Fer the Fer the Ferrari Enzo, the Ferrari 430 series, the California as well. Many more all cool stuff from Pininfarina. Actually, it was named it after co company's founder Enzo Ferrari's eldest son. Al Alfredo, who was nicknamed Dino, Alfredo actually. He, oh, I don't know his son, the eldest son was Alfredo Ferrari. He yeah, as well. Who was nicknamed, nicknamed Dino? So today, the Dino 246 GT is highly sought collector's car and fe that fetches at least six figure sum. It's over six, about what, half a million pounds of this thing? It cost you 400 grand actually. Need to buy one of these things. 400 grand for this car as well. But fortunately, I bought one of these in earlier as well. I bought it secretly. Actually, don't worry about it. <laughs> you can check it out on the clip as well. So people are gonna think which track are you gonna use mostly? So I know people are gonna use it and thinking, wait, is it a one on a classic one? Yeah, we gotta use one of them is Willow Sprints and one of them is different track as well. I, I think I gotta use the 
he Ferrari's home the home track Monster actually which is this week is a Ferrari uh, this week for Formula One actually it is Monza Literally, he was so I gotta use it one of the greatest track of all time time as well I gotta use a little sprint first so maybe get and also then the the nut the, the, the Dino I could use on the he he Monza so let's get started anyway
Some people are gonna think it, wait, this is the original V6 powered Ferrari? Yes, it is. This is one of the original one on back in the V60 to 70s actually. This is one of the greatest car of all time. And also it has a manual gearbox. That was cool thing about the manual gearbox on back in the day. The manual gearbox is one of the coolest one as well. And then look at the seat. It's pure pre classic. Cla well, pure classic. <laughs> And I love the, how, how it looks as probably no. And you may notice thing something. Are you like the 246 GT? I maybe like from 246 GT, but I love the Targa version, the GTS version. And actually, this is one of the coolest thing ever built from from Ferrari, at, as you probably know. And also, it has a V6. <laughs> Man, you you may be thinking, why are people gonna think it? Uh, V6 Ferrari. Well, today's Ferrari actually, the 296 GTB also V6, but that one is twin turbo charge. I wish the 296 GTB and also the GT3 car in the Gran Turismo 7. I wish that car in that in this game. Man, I want to drive that car so hard, man. I want to drive it. And, yeah. And the fun thing about the 246 GT is, is this one, people thinking Wait, you said it earlier, this car also featured in Detective Corner. Yes, it is actually. And it is one of the classic car of all time. And the Detective Corner actually, it has a lot of features of cool cars, as you probably know. It is. It is actually. So, and another one here, the Firebird Trans Am. This is one of the most iconic American muscle cars as well. Even 220 horsepower, as you probably know. And also, one thing, I also have a manual transmission as well. And also, so it's pure American muscle, and the, the color skin I pick up is the black and also gold hole as well. This is a special edition model I I picked. Hey, okay, what well, special edition color actually? I picked hey, about uh, a month actually, about seven months ago actually. This is one of the thing about this car, even though this thing is high figure number and also the collectibles numbers collectibles car as well this particular trans am is pure power well pure power actually even though the 220 horsepower it's also best sounding as well so i just i, I just knew you have a sort through actually <laughs> sorry about it but even though these days this particular car you probably know that this particular one wait, i said particular car and, and several times but uh, however, this is a most iconic movie car, the, the Smart and the Bandit movie. This is a car you may notice about this one. It's the best car of all time. It is, and also the collectible cars as well. Well, including the Dino 246. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to see more, more Grand Turismo 7 and, and, and any other video on this channel, be sure to smash a like, subscribe if you're new, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and also hold your lap. Link in the description box below. See you guys soon. Assalamualaikum and goodbye.